Hello everyone. So today I thought we could revisit that select by location script again and this time add a conditional statement. Um, and we're going to do that using an if statement. And what I thought we could do is just how about we only create shapefiles of countries that have a certain population. So if we just look at the attribution of this country shapefile we notice there is some, somewhere there's a field that has population. So population estimate. So we're just going to put this field in our search cursor and then put an if statement. If the population is greater than some number, then we can go ahead and do the script. Um, so I'm just going to pick a number. So let's try to limit this down. So we'll only select countries that have a population over. So this is a billion. This is 240 million, it looks like. So let's do population that's over. This is, these are all 153 million. Let's do over 50 million just to try to limit. So we should, it, that would eliminate all of these. All right, so to do that, we already know we have to add that new field into the search cursor. So we'll just pop that in here. It was called pop est, I believe. Let's just double check. Where did it go? Yep, pop, pop S, there it is. All right, and now what we want to do is we want to, so we know pop S now is going to be X, this is X0, X1, X2. So we want to check the value of X2. So we could just do right here we'll make an if statement if and to do that you just type if and then what what are we checking if x2 is greater than now we need to check to make sure or verify if it's a string or a number sometimes the attribution they'll they'll just have numbers represented as strings but you can check by going here and type is double so that means we're going to make it a number in here so we'll, we're literally just going to type the number 50 million. I think that's 50 million. That's 5 million. One more zero. All right, now we're seeing this because it's expecting an indent. So we need to, so if our population meets this criteria, we want to do all of this. And to do that in Python, you just indent. So this is the conditional thing you're going to do. So it's going to be indented. And you need a colon after this. All right, so if it meets this criteria, go ahead and do everything that we did before. And if it doesn't meet that criteria, you write else, colon. What do you want to do? You indent that as well. We'll just print. Uh, we can just print whatever country. can say didn't meet the criteria. Didn't. Okay, we're getting this issue because I'm using single quotes here and it thinks it's ending the string right here because there are, are uh, single quotes there. So the way we can do this is instead of enclosing this string in single quotes, we can put it in double quotes. Now it doesn't treat that as the end of the string. Okay, so it didn't meet the criteria. Size one criteria. All right, and then dot format. What did so we just need the country name, so we can just use formatted output name. That's the. I will just we'll just use. X1 just to keep it, make it even simpler. All right, so this should do it, but why don't we also add how many countries, like at the end of the script, we want to add how many countries actually met the criteria and, and how many didn't or, or how many total. So to do that, we're going to have to keep track of how many countries are getting converted and we can just make a, a counter variable to do that. So up at the top, 
I'm going to make two variables, one called total count and set it equal to zero, and another called created account or created count, set that equal to zero. All right, so now if, if it meets the criteria, we're going to add one number to that created count create account and to do that in Python you just say plus equals one and outside of this so for every time it goes through this loop regardless of if it meets the criteria we're going to add one to total count so total count plus equals one so now down here with that information now we can say print um, we can just print how many were met the criteria so we could do this and say that many met the criteria out of and this will now we're going to use our total count out of out of that many countries all right and the first number is met the criteria so that's going to be our created count second number is total count all right, so again, what that's doing is it's just keeping track of every time it loops through. So the total count is every time it loops through regardless. It's adding one to that number. So it starts out as zero, then one, then two, then three. And this uh, created count, that only gets added to if it goes into this if statement. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a run. Uh, let's go to our outputs folder. All right, so our outputs folder is empty. Now this should significantly limit the number of shape files that are created because it has to meet that criteria. All right, see, so I'm seeing a lot of didn't meet the criteria, didn't meet the criteria. Successfully, so Mexico, that met the criteria. Nigeria method. All right, it already finished. All right, so let's take a look at ARC, see how many were created. All right, there weren't many created. You can see right here. So let's just add all of those. All right, so now you can see it was limited. Um, so that's a, a really quick, handy way just to use conditional if statements to further limit the data that you get or the, the data you're working with. We could have we could have chosen any any of these fields, but population made the most sense. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, if any of this doesn't make sense, just leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you guys. Uh, all right, see you.